Oh, Osho. Hey, my brother here is working on. This is another one of those tips thing that gives you ideas or thing. He is working on a a bench. All right, I mean not a bench, but a stool. All right, now it was broken, and he's trying to fix it. You know, and uh, you know how we talk about ideas and things. Well, this is a good way for you to get an idea on maybe that project you're working on. And uh, I will flip this around and let him kind of explain what he's done. Uh, he, <laughs> okay, yeah, he stripped a screw. Okay, so we're going to let it, you know, take a look at what he's done so far and let him explain it to you. And see, we'll let you see the little project there, okay? Maybe you'll get an idea uh, for that little project you're working on. Okay, here he is. Hi. Um, there was a bar that went across here and here and um, I came out here to work one day and sat down on it and it just broke. It was very poorly tack welded on and it's a lightweight aluminum to begin with. So what I did is I took my Dremel tool and uh, took a grindstone, ground off the old welds and uh, marked some boards, cut them with a handsaw to fit in between drilled some new holes and because I didn't have a center punch for the metal I just used a, a well this is an eight common but um, used a nail and a hammer as a center punch there and then drilled the holes through and then I was thinking of just seating the, the nuts in in the bottom and I tried that on the short piece and of course it didn't work because the nuts had nothing to draw against <laughs> So I had to rethink and what I did is my hole that I drilled in there, a little bit longer than what the screws are, I went back in about 5 sixteenths of an inch, took my Dremel tool with a little router bit or you could use a side cutter bit and just went down and you know for the center of the hole so I could drive in the nut and that's held it. But this one here I did wrong. I, I did it straight according to the square with the edge when it should have been square with this edge here. So now I'm having problems. I can't get that nut back out. I mean, it ain't coming out. But what it's doing is it's stripping the screw because it's not going in there right. And it'll work once I get it done. Maybe I can get it to re-thread the screw. I'm hoping. Yeah, you know, see, that's what I mean. Uh, this, this, you know, because see, whatever that project you have, I mean, like I said, uh, just by you know listening to someone or watching something that they're doing, whatever your project that you're working on, that will help. So, I mean, you can see, like what he explained to you, what he was doing here, and maybe this will give you some kind of idea. See, sometimes the nuts are made of a harder steel than the screw and sometimes the nuts will re-thread the screw for you it's not a good idea to do it like this but I don't feel like cutting a whole new piece of wood and everything and if I make that slot bigger than the nut you know to re-angle the slot then then the nuts not gonna sit in there good it could end up falling out if it came loose